The flight of the bird, so effortless and graceful, has led man since the dawn of time to turn his gaze with longing to the skies. But his dream of soaring above the clouds was not to be realized without weary centuries of experiment and failure. I'm very pleased to take this opportunity to introduce you to a very new and exciting toy that we're working on. It's called the Turbo Air Jet. I'd always loved flying toys. As a kid, I played with model aeroplanes. And I thought that was a shame that such a good product, a product that I got such pleasure from, was no longer available to kids. So I set about actually seeing if I could come up with a replacement. Somebody said there's three crazy young kids from Canada that are looking for a new original product. And so we said, let's go show them. So in walked these two inventors named Dixon Manning, and they pull out this plane, and it's a pop bottle with these foam, giant foam wings, and they had a huge bicycle pump. They had this little one-piston engine. You could see the engine going. It was absolutely magical. I got this one. I got it. Ooh. If you're asking whether I thought that the product was good, the answer was yes. Whether we thought they were capable of manufacturing it, uh, the answer to that has to be uh, it was very doubtful. Risk is in our DNA. You need to be comfortable with risk, and then you need to be calculating with risk. We'd never done something before that cost $400,000 in the work factories in China to actually get it produced. We basically went to school. There was a magic moment, which was when we got the first set of air hogs back from the factory, and we opened up a bunch of them, like six of them, and we flew them, and they all flew perfectly. We have too much wind, but we'll... It broke ground. It was truly a revolutionary product for its day. For the first time, out of the box, a kid could fly a plane. It would just take off. It was just absolutely incredible. Air Hogs evolves every few years when there's a new technology or a new platform or a new way to fly that people haven't thought of yet, like the very first air pressure plane. And that's what we're all about, innovative ways to fly that are just going to lighten kids' eyes up and make them really enjoy the experience. Even the wall car is in flight, but to have that car actually drive on your wall is a magic that nobody had ever seen before. The drive for innovation, the entrepreneurial spirit of the team is something which has endured. I think that's what's made the company as successful as it is, with the core of which is innovation. When I first met Roland, we talked about our dream to have a R and d in China. About four years ago, actually we made the dream become true. There's the Spin Master Advanced Research Team in Hong Kong. There's the shop here in Toronto that develops a lot of the early Airhawks prototypes. They really do bring so much innovation and new creative ideas to the table. And I think that's something that's very unique within the industry. It was a career-long goal to make something fly. And when I went to Asia and I saw the Hong Kong team have this flying ferry, it was really amazing and captivating. You could see it was going to change the toy industry. When the thing is hovering above your hand, it's like, oh, it's like it's alive. I'm just I'm just part of that, right? She's flying above my hand. It's like we're interacting. It's she's she's alive. All those years of Air Hogs technology went into that product. They had done 17 years of homework to get that ferry to fly. We've partnered with a lot of different people from other aeronautics industry. We've had people from the space industry. The joke we like to make is, you say, well, it's not rocket science. Actually, Air Hogs is rocket science. Woo -hoo -hoo! Lift off. we have a lift off. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.